Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Road Club League Racing. This is an early access, top-down, tiny car racing game. So let's go ahead and just jump straight in. I'm going to do a custom event to begin with. Let's go ahead and turn down the difficulty a little bit. Uh, we're just going to practice, randomize conditions. Yeah, might as well. Looks like there's nine tracks. This is a early access game. I'm sure there'll be more tracks later on. Uh, let's just go with a simple one. And there we go, and we get to pick our car. Looks like this is the best type of car. Uh, Six-speed transmission. All right, let's go. Race. Dude, it's kind of blurry whenever it's foggy and rainy. Uh, but it's a pretty simple game. Oh, wait, I need to start my engine. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! It's a pretty basic game where all you do is just race around the course. There's not a whole lot to it. You can press A to boost. And I think you recharge boost every time you go around a corner. Um, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can e-brake to drift. I'm not very good at doing the e-brake. But if you just normally brake, you can slow down and very easily get, get around corners. Um, it's a very casual game. It has a very nice soundtrack. Oh no. What the heck? <laughs> I couldn't turn for some reason. Oh, kind of cool weather effects. This game is in early access, so hopefully later on they'll add more tracks and maybe the game will get a little bit better. I've played quite a few little, like, tiny car racing games in the past. That's the best lap ever, sweet. <laughs> Everyone else is going super slow. Oops, okay. Pressed the wrong button there. I'm using an Xbox controller. I'm not too familiar with the controls. Um, this is one of those games that doesn't really tell you the, uh, the buttons. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Alright, we're almost to the finish line. Spin him out. And victory, first place. And one of the reasons why I did this little uh, practice track is so that I can get some money. You get $10,000 for coming in first place, which will be uh, quite nice in the career mode. But before I begin, I should just mention that the controls... Uh, this is the control screen, and I'm using an Xbox controller. And honestly, I don't really know what button 1, button 0, button 5, and button 4. All these buttons are kind of strange to me. Uh, but I figured out how to brake, and how to steer, and how to boost, and that's pretty much all you need to know. I think the handbrake is B, and that's how you kind of drift, um, which might be useful. Uh, let's go ahead and start a career. Welcome to the Road Club. As you know, Road Club is an invite-only club where the best drivers in the world fight for the title of Road Club Master to be the best of the best. Alright, so... You don't have a car, buy a new or used one from the car shop, or even get one for free from the scrapyard. Alright, let's go to the car shop. Looks like... Looks like this is a used car. How much is it? 7,800. I guess there's only one car available. And there's a scrap car, where we, which we can get for free, but unfortunately, it doesn't have, uh... Wait. It has a little bit of boost, but not much. Not very much nitro. Also, with the scrap car, you can't upgrade it. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and buy a used car because we can purchase upgrades for it. So let's go ahead and buy the used car. Okay, so we got a car. Let's go, let's see. Let's go to the garage and we're going to try to buy some upgrades. Upgrade car. Buy selected upgrade. Turbocharger. Wait, six speed transmission. How much is this? Oh, these are pretty cheap. What does a turbocharger do? <laughs> I have no idea what some of these things do. Engine power. The car is turbocharged, which means it has 35% more power over the second half of the RPM range. All right, so I'm gonna buy a turbocharger. Oh wait, okay. Six speed transmission for regular use. Let's buy this as well, I guess. I guess, I'm not really sure what I'm changing. Sports transmission, racing transmission, 3,450. Oh, I think we're just... Oh, this is an add-on. I was buying the upgrades, not the add-ons. So let's go ahead and buy the racing transmission. Um, there we go. <laughs> okay, so hopefully uh, that'll help us out a little bit. And let's also buy a nitro, some nitro upgrades. And now let's get out of here and start our career. Your car is more than 50% damage. Are you sure you want to race with it? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that. So we can repair our car. 
10% full repair. Okay, so we can't fully repair it, so we're just going to purchase as many <laughs> repairs as we can. We'll exit the garage and we'll race. There we go, and this is the first race, midday clear rookie. All the cars look exactly the same. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! One unfortunate thing about this game is if you hit a wall and you spin out, you can't like reset your car, so you have to like back up and uh, do the whole thing again. Oh crap, like right here? Like look at this, I can't back up? Ugh! I just lost so much time. But the other cars are really slow so I should be fine as long as I don't uh, spin out again. It's pretty easy to spin out as well. This game really does have a really nice soundtrack though. It's very relaxing. Even though the gameplay is very basic, I'm actually quite enjoying it just because it's so relaxing. Oh wait, I've been forgetting to use my boost. Oh, that guy almost hit me. <laughs> Man, this this car has horrible steering. I need to upgrade the steering. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> There we go, first place, and I got our best lap. Sweet, so I should earn some money. I got $10,000, and some experience, I think. Plus 2,000 experience, first in race, awesome driving, you came in first. Your fellow Division 6 buddies has been busy. Your latest spy report follows. Um, what? I guess we get to spy on other people? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll look at the car shop. Is there... Is there like new cars each time? I guess so. This car I think is a little bit more expensive than the car I had. And there's new cars, new cars, nothing today, new items arrive regularly. Sweet. So I guess every so often we can check the car shop to see if there's new cars available. Let's go to my garage and let's uh, upgrade the car and we need to increase the handling because uh, from what I could tell the steering was terrible. Alright, that looks good. And let's also do full repair. We have a little bit more money, so let's, uh, I don't know, what should we buy? Um, mm, let's mm, buy a turbocharger for 3,000. Nah. Let's just buy more handling, I guess, or whatever that was, nitro. Alright, time for the next race. Or is there different races? Race 2-2, two, two, race Division 5, Division 6. Division 4, Division 3, Division 1. I have no idea what that means. CR? <laughs> I really don't know like what changing the changing the division does. Oh never mind. I guess there's multiple divisions of racers. I'm in the sixth division. There's other divisions of racers as well with uh, higher level cars. I guess we have to uh, keep racing and then increase our division. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> My car is so much faster than everyone else's. I kind of feel like I'm cheating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I still don't know the best way to turn. If it's to press the e-brake or if I should just press the normal brake. Or not brake at all. I guess pressing the e-brake allows me to keep momentum by drifting. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I guess there is like a little shortcut on that corner. But this is the last lap, so it doesn't really matter. Might be able to lap someone. Get out of my way! Oh, I've been forgetting to use boost. <laughs> I forgot to use boost that entire race. Cool. Another... Oh, 12,000. First place in division, first in race. Got a lot of money for that. A lot of experience. I don't know what experience does. We just uh, leveled up, I guess. Club rank up. You're now a speedster. 
So this is my spy report. I guess we're spying on other racers. Kind of strange. Awesome driving, you advance to the next division as the first driver. Nice racing, you seem to be wiping the floor with the competition. Would you like to increase the difficulty for a better challenge? Yes. All right, so let's go to... We have 26,000, let's go to the car shop. Is there any new cars? No new cars, nope. Man, that car is cheap, only 2,200. All right, let's uh, I guess we'll look at in our garage and we'll make some more upgrades. We can buy another garage slot. I guess we can get different types of cars. That's kind of strange. Um, let's buy this turbocharger. All add-ons purchase, and then I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just keep on increasing the handling, and maybe the engine power a little bit more, and maybe weight reduction. I guess that'll help me go a little bit faster. Okay, that looks good. Exit to the garage and back to the race. Looks like some people have some better cars than I do. Are you ready? Three, I'm ready. Two, one, go! I remember I had a game like this when I was a kid. I think it was called Micro Machines. It was on the Game Boy Color. Or it might have been on the original Game Boy. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I, I usually have a lot of fun with games like this. They're very simple, they're very like arcade style, but uh, they're fun. It looks like that guy ahead of me is way too freaking fast, like his car is going way too fast for me. And that was a horrible turn, I need to break a little bit during some of these turns. Uh, every time you hit a wall you lose so much speed, and every time you go on the grass you lose a lot of speed too. This guy's gonna catch up on me. Ah, oh, man, that turn. Awful. <laughs> like, I can make it like a sharper turn. Oh man. I don't like this track. <laughs> Too many turns. Alright, so I didn't win. I came in second. I wonder how much money you get for coming in second. Uh... 9,000? That's pretty good. Not too bad. I kind of need a better car. So here's a new car. Used car. Still not the cars that I'm looking for, though. I want, like, something better. I guess we can, uh... I don't know. Well, we did raise the difficulty, so that's probably why that guy was so fast. We could just keep increasing the engine power. I'm not sure if that's gonna help. Um, that's what exit garage. I could go back to Division 6. Oh wait, no I can't. I guess I have to race in my division. So I guess the more you win, the higher the division you go, and if you lose I guess you derank your division. Um, I don't know, it's kind of... Are you ready? I feel like it's kind of unfair Three, that whenever you rank up two, to a new division, there's one, cars that go. go way faster than you. Might be better. Oh, oh my god, that guy. Freaking cheater. <laughs> and he, he took a shortcut. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm keeping up with them though. This track, there's not very many sharp turns, so I should be okay. I'll just let you guys listen to the soundtrack for a couple minutes, I guess. Sweet, first place. Seventeen thousand, wow. You got a lot of money for coming first. 
Club rank up. You are now... Your new rank is Clubman. New car models will now show up in upcoming car shop deliveries. So if we go to the car shop, there might be some new cars. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, there's a new car. 27,000. I don't have that much money, but I guess you can kind of see how this uh, game plays out. You just keep racing, keep earning money, and buying upgrades and new cars. There's also a local multiplayer. I kind of wish there was online multiplayer, that would be kind of fun. But uh, other than that, it's just a very, very like basic arcade game. Honestly, there's not really a, a whole lot to say about it. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to hate on it, but there's nothing really unique about this game. There's other, um, like, tiny car ra top-down racing games that you can get on Steam that are a little bit better and a little bit more unique. Some games even have map editors, which are pretty cool. Uh, but this one, there's not enough tracks. I really wish there was more tracks, and I kind of wish there was, like, more to it. Uh, it would be kind of cool if there was, like, power-ups or something that you can, like, shoot at your enemies, kind of like Mario Kart. Because um, there's other games like that that make it a little bit more enjoyable. But uh, this one tries to be more of a simulator. I guess you would call it a top-down racing simulator, because uh, that's what it's trying to be, or at least that's what it seems like anyway. Uh, but this game still is in early access, so uh, keep that in mind. Maybe it'll get better over time. This game just released January 8th, 2017 in early access on Steam, so I'm sure in a few months down the road this game will be a lot better than what it is now. Uh, but, but for what it is, it's quite fun, it's very relaxing, and uh, if you're looking for a very simple little arcade racing game, uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you want to check out this game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Steam Store page. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.